up everyone? In this video, I'm gonna be going over five reasons of why the GoPro is an awesome camera for travel vlogging and also the reasons of why me and my wife have been using this camera for the last two years of making travel vlogs on this channel. So number one is just the size and weight of it. So I don't really like to be traveling around with heavy and big camera equipment. I do like to travel light. So a lot of like the fancy cameras usually weigh quite a bit and are very big to carry around. So the GoPro is absolutely tiny. It is a pocket sized camera. I can carry it around easily, put it away in my pocket when I'm not filming. I don't have to keep putting it in and out of my bag. And it also helps with being being discreet when filming. I'm also a person that don't I don't really want to gain a lot of attention from the people around me. And when you're filming with it, a lot of people don't even realize a lot of the time that you are filming. The second reason is that it is an action camera. So the GoPro isn't really made for travel vlogging, even though a lot of people use it for that now. So it's highly durable and waterproof. Since it's an action camera, it's made more for doing more like extreme sports like snowboarding or mountain biking, stuff like that. The other benefit of that is that it won't break easily. If you drop this camera, a lot of the times it won't even have like a mark on it. I've had another camera before that the first time I dropped it, the screen broke and everything, a Canon camera. But on this one, yeah, it is really durable. It can take a beating. I've hit it on a lot of things. And obviously the waterproof part is a huge benefit because since we're traveling to like tropical places, doing some water sports or just swimming, and snorkeling it means that not only i can just talk to the camera when i'm outside like this i could just go straight into the water there without having to switch the camera at all and yeah have absolutely no problems and even the image underwater is pretty awesome and i've also been able to use it when it's raining because of that we have been in some situations where it's pouring it down and i can just still talk to the camera with no issues at all and no worries so the third reason is that it is affordable when you compare it to other high quality cameras. So the GoPro 8 is currently going for around $300 to $350. I think that's like the Christmas sale. And the new GoPro 9 is $350 to $400. And I have those links in the video description if you want to check it out because yeah, you can get some good deals on it right now for Christmas. So if you compare it to other high quality cameras like the bigger cameras, a lot of those are thousands of dollars. I've seen some for like $3,000, $4,000, can be even way higher than that. And when we started to travel, I didn't really want to spend thousands of dollars on a camera because obviously thousands of dollars in some countries can actually be months of traveling. So if I was to get a super expensive, high quality camera, I'd actually be losing the amount of months I'd be able to travel with my wife, Carol. So yeah, that was one of the reasons. And then later on, I just found out that the GoPro is so good and so useful in so many different situations that I've never really felt the need to change it at all. So for the price you're paying, it's an absolute bargain for all the different features and the versatility that the GoPro has. Number four is the stabilization. Possibly the best stabilization you'll get out of any camera in the world. As I mentioned in the other point, it is an action camera. So it's made for like mountain biking and stuff. So obviously they've had to have really good stabilization because you're going to be bumping around a lot. But for travel vlogging, that's perfect because like right now, I'm walking, you're probably not really seeing any jittery image. It's probably really stable. I'm not even trying to keep it stable because it's so perfect. I don't even have the highest setting for stabilization as well. I can even set it to be more stable than it is already, but this is already perfect. And even if I start running, so right now I'm running, not really trying that hard to keep my hands still. And you can probably see that it is pretty well focused and stable, even if I spin around. I'll even start jittering my hand a bit. It's probably still okay. So yeah, you can see it's amazing. And we've also done stuff like water sports, like water skiing and stuff. And yeah, the stabilization is pretty much perfect. So that's one of the best things about it. And it just makes travel vlogging so easy because I never really have to think of trying to film smooth shots. Even when I'm walking, I'm not trying to walk and keep it smooth. The image just stays smooth. And yeah, I'm able to just film without planning that much. Just makes filming so easy. 
And the last point is just the overall image quality. Obviously, if you're getting a good camera, you want a really good camera image. So when we started filming with the GoPro Hero 8, which I'm filming on right now, we got so many comments on YouTube of people asking like, what camera did we get that the, the image quality is amazing. And a lot of people thought we were using like a fancy DSLR or something. And to their surprise, I said we were only using the GoPro. So yeah, the, the quality is awesome. And I also like the different screen sizes. So I film on linear, but that, as you can see, already gets quite a lot of the background, which is good for travel vlogging because you don't want to see just my big head when I'm talking to the camera. It's good to be able to see the stuff in the back. And there's even wider screens than this if you really wanted to use it. It just ends up having that, um, that fish eye, fishbowl effect, whatever people call it. So yeah, that's why we use linear for our vlogs. And we don't even film in the highest qualities. It can do like 4K, slow motion, all that kind of stuff. But I just do the normal 1080. ADP, uh, 60 frames per second and I already think the image quality is absolutely perfect. So those are the five reasons that I've been using the GoPro, the best five reasons anyway. There's still other stuff that it's good for. You can still take cool photos and stuff like that. We've even done partnerships with some hotels and stuff where they've still used the photos that we've taken from a GoPro even for like their um, social media or websites and stuff so even for that it's good enough quality there are a few flaws just like any cameras but even the really expensive cameras have a million flaws as well especially with like stabilization a lot of those cameras you need a big gimbal and stuff like that and i don't need any of this with the gopro so it's basically just the ease of use and quality and the fact that i can use it in so many different situations just the perfect camera for for us so that's it, it's a perfect camera, especially if you just wanna start travel vlogging, if it's a new thing to you and you don't wanna spend loads of money on a camera, or even if you like me and you just don't want a big camera and you still wanna do like professional videos, you can see from our videos on our channel, we're still able to make pretty high quality content that gets a lot of um, views and stuff. So yeah, it is possible. So hopefully you found this video useful if you're looking for a camera. As I mentioned before, we do have links to the, the cameras below so thanks for watching check out our other videos if you want to see our travel vlogs of the places that we're traveling to and i'll see you around